So I've been at my new job as a smart contract auditor for just over a month now, and I've received a bunch of questions around what it is actually like to work at an audit firm. So I'm gonna give you guys a bit of an update in this video and talk about uh, what work is like day to day, uh, the salaries, work-life balance, and uh, all the rest. So previously I was a penetration tester, and now I do uh, security reviews on smart contracts that run on the blockchain. Essentially, it's pretty much like uh, AppSec, right? You're reading a lot of code and trying to find vulnerabilities, writing unit tests, that sort of stuff. But it's a really niche field where not a lot of people are doing and it's a really immature field with a lot of growth potential. So that's the major factor why I decided to transition into the space. Um, in 2022, I basically went really hard at the bug bounties, uh, smart contract uh, auditing contests on Code Arena. Um, I have documented my journey throughout uh, 2022 on my YouTube channel. So I basically um, went from pretty much zero knowledge uh, to the point where I was able to land a job at a major auditing firm. So the major benefit of working at an audit firm is obviously you get to do this full time and spend a lot more time digging deeper into the code and having that collaborative process where you can learn from other people. So I've talked to a bunch of people on this channel before and most of them have spoken about how valuable it was to um, have that collaborative process and learn from other people during the audits. So you always get that collaborative process. You get long, very long engagements, usually a month or plus. And we usually review pretty big code bases as well. So there is that very generous uh, time frame where you can actually um, read a lot of documentation, try to understand the code base fully, and then really go in depth. So this is definitely a major plus and slowing down and actually reading the documentation, uh, comparing it to the documentation of other similar protocols, all that I have time to do uh, for these very long engagements. And I'm um, also working with other people. You get to bounce ideas off of each other. We can sort of uh, help each other confirm uh, findings. I can really feel myself if I, um, you know, smash this uh, really hard for the next year or two, I would be, you know, I would be really at that next level. And so long engagements also have the side benefit of less report writing, right? So in my previous job, I was pretty much like smashing out reports every week or every week or two. And probably every week I would spend maybe one or two days on report writing. But here we spend so long just during the audit review process that report writing only takes up um, maybe one or two days per month, it looks like. So that is, you know, if you don't like report writing, that's definitely a plus. Now, in terms of work flexibility, this has got to be the most flexible working environment I have ever experienced in my life. This is literally the best you're going to get while working full time at a company. So basically, we hire people from all over the world. So everyone is mostly in different time zones. So all the collaboration is done asynchronously through chat. So you are pretty much free to work uh, whenever you want during the day. And you can work in weekends, you can swap it out for a weekday, you can swap out public holidays for other days because everyone follows their own public holiday in their jurisdiction. So if you want to uh, swap out a public holiday for a different day, you can do that. So whether you're a morning person, a nighttime person or whatever, you can find a working style that is uh, suited for you. And the working hours are normal working hours. As long as you complete the project, whatever you're signed to, then you're good to go. I don't think they can or do track hours you worked at all. So yeah, very chill working environment and uh, really enjoying it here so far. So in terms of salaries, it's pretty comparable to working at a fan company, except you can work wherever you are in the world remotely. So if you live somewhere that's not the US and you can translate that to your local currency, it can be a pretty big bump up uh, to your local salary. So that's pretty much what um, I found. Um, I live in Australia and translating that to Australian dollars, it is a pretty sizable bump up from my previous job. So junior auditors, they get paid between 120K to 150K USD. Uh, for mid-level to seniors, it's 200K to 300K. And for top level auditors where you go either independent or you work at a big DAO, I've heard numbers from 500K up to a million. So those are pretty insane numbers. And uh, people also do like bug bounties and stuff on the side as well where bug bounties 
in Web3 is around like 10x uh, from uh, Web2 or traditional uh, bug bounties. So a lot of money in this field and a lot of potential for growth, considering that uh, in the beginning of 2022, I would say there was probably only like 50 or a handful of people in the whole world that is doing this. Um, now, I would estimate, uh, judging from the Code Arena leaderboard, we probably have around 2,000 or 3,000 people. But uh, just by those numbers, obviously, this is a very immature field and there is still a lot of opportunity um, to get in pretty early. And in terms of work flexibility, like taking on side gigs and bounty hunting and all that. Uh, so basically, I can still do a Code Arena audit contest. I can do bug bounties on Immunify, but I can't do a private audits or audits at uh, sort of like a private a contract type of deal, like a spare bit, Oak Security, that type of thing. So bug bounties still 100% okay. Um, it's just those private audits and other contract work uh, that would be a conflict of interest there i essentially had two choices either join an audit firm or become an independent security researcher uh, obviously joining a firm and upskilling within the firm was the safer choice so i decided to do that but depending on your situation you could consider uh, going full-time on Immunify, Code Arena, or uh, going for independent security researcher, just taking on contract gigs uh, from Twitter. Now, I have seen a bunch of people uh, who have found success uh, doing that, which, uh, you know, they took the bigger risk, and obviously the reward is there for people going that route uh, as well. Surprisingly, there were so many people that transition into this space uh, very successfully some with technical backgrounds and i've seen people with a zero technical background um, even transition and become very successful so it's kind of crazy and i guess it goes to show that uh, this field is uh, still very immature um, i previously spoke to trust uh, on this channel where he said yeah comparing it to uh, exploit development uh, ios and that kind of stuff uh, this uh, web3 security is a super immature field a lot of uh, opportunity to get in on the ground floor very early so yeah that's pretty much why i decided to jump in uh, just the growth potential that is uh, in this field so my goals uh, for the next uh, year or two is just to seriously upskill and take advantage of the opportunity that is, uh, you know, working as a team and learning from people who are more experienced than myself. Um, so yeah, we'll see uh, how, uh, you know, what develops over the next few years. Things move very quickly in this industry and it's uh, yeah, very exciting to uh, be in an industry where everything changes so quickly. Like people talk about cybersecurity changing quickly, but uh, yeah, like Web3 security is just uh, insane. Like people are inventing new uh, bug classes every month and uh, yeah, it's, it's just crazy to keep up and uh, learning the stuff is uh, very fun to me. So uh, essentially, that's uh, my motivation to get into this industry. Now, I'll definitely be posting a lot more updates on my journey and how it's going throughout this year. So subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos on that. Um, also, on this channel, I interview other security researchers in the space, to get them on to uh, share their stories and advice. So yeah, check out the other videos on this channel if you want more content around smart contract hacking. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you in the next one.